Not sure which Squarespace template is right for you? Maybe you've heard that picking the wrong one could seriously limit your design choices down the road. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid plan for picking exactly the right template for your business. So you can stop putting off this major to-do and start building your website right away. By the way, this video covers template picking in the new version of Squarespace, that is Squarespace 7.1. If you're using Squarespace 7.0, that's the old version, you can watch my template picking video for version 7.0 right here. And I'll also pop it in the description below. For the best Squarespace tips and site building best practices, subscribe to my channel and be sure to hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every single Thursday. Step number one, forget everything you've ever heard about picking a template in Squarespace. I am serious. Forget fretting over which template has a sidebar, and forget stressing over whether or not your template can have a double footer. Because when Squarespace released the newish version of their platform, they made each and every template 100% equal in terms of the features and functionality in the template. Yep, every single template in the entire store can achieve the exact same end result or design. So you can basically relax knowing that whichever one you pick to start your site, you won't be kicking yourself down the road and having to start over with a completely new site built. So go ahead and kiss the frantic Google searching goodbye because template shopping just got a whole lot more fun and a heck of a lot easier. Let me grab my computer and I'm gonna head over into Squarespace 7.1, the template shop for step number two. When you first visit squarespace.com to start a new free trial, you'll automatically be taken to the new template shop for 7.1. So let's click this button to get started. They're gonna ask you a few questions about your goals for your website, but it honestly isn't too important how you answer these, and I'll tell you why that is in just a minute. Let's just go ahead and skip this. Step three, ignore the categories. Want to know the fastest way to have your site looking just like your competitors? Use a template designed specifically for your industry because I guarantee you that is exactly what everyone else is doing. If every single wedding photographer clicks on weddings and chooses this wedding template, and then all they do to customize it is drop in their own logo and a few different images, clients are going to start experiencing some serious deja vu pretty soon. And it's gonna be pretty hard to stand out in a sea of super similar websites. So my best template picking advice is to completely ignore those categories and choose a template based on its starting style, knowing that absolutely everything you see, fonts, images, colors, buttons, layout, etc., can be changed using Squarespace's drag and drop content building blocks and by tweaking your site style settings. Meaning if you get halfway through your design on this template and wish you had gone a different direction, you can literally make it look exactly like any other template from the shop just by rearranging your content and making changes to the site styles. Let's take our wedding photographer for example again. Rather than immediately reaching for a template in the wedding or photography categories, go through the templates in the other categories and preview to see which one speaks to you in terms of style, not necessarily content. Say you're looking for a super clean, minimal design to showcase your portfolio and services. You might like this one for its font, colors, or its buttons, even though the content has nothing to do with photography. If you love the template's default styles, that's one less thing you have to change in the site styles when you go to start customizing your site. So it may make for the most convenient starting point. But unless you plan on building a completely generic site where you literally just plug in your content exactly where and how the template suggests, then a similar style or vibe to what you're going for is really the only reason why you'd pick one template over the next. So honestly, you don't need to spend more than just a few minutes in here before committing to one and getting on with your site build. To choose a template, just hover over the one you want and click start. Step four, start by giving yourself a blank canvas. To end up with a truly unique website, you're not going to want to rely too heavily on the pre-built layouts and demo designs of the template. The first thing I tell students of my Square Secrets course is to actually immediately delete out all of the demo pages. It's pretty hard to unsee a design, and it's super easy to become married to the one template rather than coming up with something unique. So even though the templates can definitely be super handy for quickly getting a site launched in a pinch or for knowing what content or copy you should be including on certain pages, the best way to ensure your site is unicorn level unique is to force yourself to start from scratch with every page. To delete the demo content, just click this little gear icon next to each page and hit delete. Then when you go to add a new page, rather than choosing a pre-built option, do yourself a big favor and choose a blank one. So now that you know these steps for picking the right template in Squarespace 7.1, how do you actually get your site to appeal to your ideal visitor? 
Who is that person? And what are they looking for on your website? And how can you help them take the action that you want them to so you can turn your website visitors into actual paying clients and customers? Don't just blindly dive into messing around with your site's design. You need a clear plan of who it is you're trying to reach and therefore what type of content needs to live on your site. I've written a 10 page guide to walk you through the exact steps I take before I ever start designing a site, including nailing down my exact ideal visitor profile, the most vital information that those visitors will be searching for on my website, gathering inspiration and creating my design mood board in Squarespace and properly preparing my site content prior to upload. You can download my Squarespace pre-designed workbook and checklist at the link in the description below. If you're ready to jump into customizing your site, then check out the next videos for these helpful tips, tricks, and tools to help you with your site build. If you like this video, hit the like button and be sure to subscribe.